Generating scenes of heterogeneous crowds is an important problem of crowd simulation. Being able to control such diversity with intuitive tools further adds to the complexity of the problem. We deliver configurable crowd profiles, a reinforcement learning based framework where agents learn multiple behaviors concurrently, alleviating the need to train individual behaviors separately. In particular, we train agents to learn combinations of four basic behaviors, goal-seeking, collision avoidance, grouping and interactions with areas of interest. Here we demonstrate the effect of the profiles arising from such mixture of behaviors in a simple scenario with the dominant behaviors highlighted in each case. For the same profiles, our system can handle more complex scenarios in different environments, still giving rise to some striking patterns. For the grouping dominant behavior, for example, we observe that multiple agents concentrate in several spots, while for the interaction behavior, they circle around specific objects of interest. Here we demonstrate the intuitive effect of the slider's fluctuations. Decreasing the interaction weight and increasing the grouping weight shows the immediate change of the agent's behavior from circling around objects to forming groups, while increasing the weight for the goal makes agents highly goal-oriented. We tested our framework on various scenarios and conditions. By increasing the weight of the grouping behavior, for example, we see groups emerging more, whereas in other cases we see other behaviors being more prominent. Gradually increasing the weight of the different trained behaviors emphasizes the effect of each of them on the simulation, which we further analyze in the paper. The gradual increase of the weights results in more dominant pattern in the respective behaviors. We show that this is universal for all trained behaviors. To showcase the generalizability of our system, we repeat the previous set of experiments in more complex environments, such as a four-way crossing setup for the grouping dominant behavior, as well as a circular setup for the interaction dominant behavior. We further stress test our framework by introducing situations not seen in training, such as the increased density of agents. In general, our system manages to reflect the effect of the profiles at this larger scale. We illustrate the effect of density on the individual behaviors. Here we compare against the baseline reinforcement learning model for only collision avoidance and goal seeking. We get comparable results by setting our model's weights to the appropriate values. Our model exhibits more diverse movements since other behaviors were seen during training. Here we demonstrate the same scenario using our approach and power law with two different time steps. We also compare our approach against real-world data with two different datasets. The real-world datasets consist of a dense scenario with multiple interacting students in a university campus, and the other one shows a sparse bidirectional flow of pedestrians. 
In general, the higher the density, the slower the agent speed. Real-world dates are more complex, while power law and CCP have similar trends. We create a museum scene with diverse behaviors, with some agents exhibiting dominant goal-seeking behavior. Collision avoidance behavior. Grouping. Or interactions with areas of interest. The museum scene illustrates a complex environment with multiple interaction areas and different distributions of agent profiles. We create the profiles of the agents to have some dominant behavior and distribute these profiles among the crowd as we wish. Thank you for your attention. For more details, please refer to our paper.